All right, guys, we're gonna go get some plate. And uh, it's pretty heavy, so I got an idea real quick. I think this is the best 50 bucks I ever spent. All right, guys, once again, I'm gonna use one of these uh, 911 Motorsport stencils for my plasma cutter. We're gonna make a hole for this half-inch bolt, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. So things shouldn't move now.
Alright guys, so off camera, I gave it a World Hero 7018. I took off the brace that I had was clamped. I did a two and a half inch circle here for the, so I can stick the ratchet underneath there and tighten up the, the ground lug or I think it's a ground lug. Then we got some nice little welds in here with the, with a the flux core. And then we got a lot of splatter here. I still got to clean up. You know, looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off with a grinder and uh, no need to record that. All right, guys, everything's mocked up and uh, looks decent enough for me. So I'm gonna take off the bolts here, the bolts on the winch and prime and paint this. And later on, I'll come back and I'll make the hole through here for the, the 5 8 pin for the receiver tube. The top here. And the wind is starting to pick up now. All right, guys. So the paint, the primer is a little bit sticky. It's not really dry like the primer I always use. So I don't know what's up with the new primer and paint that the store's carrying. But uh, I'm gonna put some of this paint on there and see how she looks. So I'm going to insert the square nuts here and I got two on the back side already so put those in there and then a lock washer and a flat washer And that one's in. Repeat the same on this side. All right, guys, I'm gonna get a socket set here. I think it's a five eight. I can't really make it under there. I'm just gonna get them snug. And then once I have them on the on the bumper on the receiver tube, I'll tighten them all down. Same thing here, we're gonna put a bolt, washer, lock washer, and then the nut.
So that looks good there. Um, I guess the next thing is to do all the wiring connections and the solenoid box here. Right, so I got the, the hook here. Put this in, put it in place. We also got the little red strap here. You grab it from here, you never want to do this. You don't want your fingers to go in there. There we go. So I got a, a half inch socket here. All right, guys, I'm just going to torque it down. Like I said, I had to put a lock washer on there to just prevent it from slipping out. As you can see, that's the hole I made there on the bottom for easy access. All right, guys, so the manual uh, showed this one here on the bottom lug, so I just went and did that. It's heavy, guys. How do I do this? guys so now I gotta see where my welder is gonna go and see if it clears it now I know that's a long shot right there on that 2x2 two two tubing but the winch is gonna be pulling uh, straight so I don't have to worry about it bending if it's gonna be you know going up at an angle you might start warping the, the tube itself this is half inch, six by, I don't know, six by four feet, let's say. And it's watered all the way up. I was going to channel this way, the channel on the back side, and the channel right underneath it right there. So it should be pretty sturdy. And uh, you can tell I'm not in a tip-top shape because I'm all gasping for air. But let me get some measurements real quick. 